Hi and welcome to this next presentation at ABG Investor Days. My name is Simon Granat and I will be moderating this presentation and I work as an equity analyst here at ABG. With us today we have the pleasure of welcoming Andreas Höje, who is the CEO of, CFO of Ericity. And with that said, Andreas, please go ahead and present the company. Thank you, Simon. And thank you for this uh, introduction and this opportunity to present Ericity for you guys here today. I thought I will uh, give you a short, uh, brief introduction of the company, uh, our, uh, what we do, uh, the market we work within, uh, also the segments we are focusing on, and uh, also status, what, where we are at the moment, and uh, our plans uh, going ahead. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, I can't see my slides here now. In to the studio. There, perfect, thank you. Uh, first, a little bit short about Iricity. We are a software company working within the security industry. We are based in Gothenburg in Sweden with uh, an organization of around 40 individuals, where uh, more than 20 are within the R&D department. Uh, we have been uh, working with this uh, for quite a long time, more than 10 years, a long experience within this field. We have uh, more than 100 customers uh, around the world in more than 10 countries. And we are a public company listed on the Nasdaq first North growth uh, market in Stockholm with a market cap of around 650 million Swedish kroners. Next slide. So a little bit more uh, what we do and why we do this. Uh, as I mentioned, we are a software company within the security industry. Uh, why we focus on the security industry is uh, if you look at the security industry historically and also now, it's a very traditional industry, a very manpower dependent. Uh, and also if you look at um, what they deliver to the end customer, we think they can uh, deliver a much better product with the help of uh, uh, software with the digitalization of this. Also, if you look at their uh, performance uh, the security companies we also believe it's a um, it's a big uh, opportunity to be for, for example create a much better margins with the help of uh, a software um, how we do this uh, we do this but that we partner up with the global security companies and we do this through a SaaS business model which means we license out our algorithms and software to the um, uh, security companies and uh, what we um, deliver, we deliver uh, deep learning algorithms, which have been uh, trained with uh, machine learning and also AI. So, yeah, they will deliver to the security companies. Next slide. A uh, little bit more into what we do. Uh, with the help of our uh, algorithms, we can help automate and improve the, both the precision and the efficiency for the security companies. Uh, basically, we let the machines do what the, the work that the machines are best at. At the same time, we also help uh, go, going alarm driven that they can act uh, in real time uh, directly when it happens. You can focus on the true events and the true alarms instead of all the false alarms. And with that, we can uh, uh, transform and reduce all the thousands of uh, real time streaming that they have to look into and focus on the one, one, ones that actually matters. We also do this, we help by, uh, by simplifying. Uh, basically, we can um, upgrade uh, an existing and uh, to new security installation and make the smart cameras. Uh, uh, Iricity and Iris, our software, is uh, compatible with basically any type of hardware that you can find around the world. So it's um, very easy to use. And, uh, also, of course, with, by doing this, you get smart cameras that can... Uh, a um, much better product to the end customer. Next slide. Uh, we help also the security companies uh, uh, deliver a much better performance and also uh, create a better revenue for them. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we can leverage on the capex already taken since we are uh, compatible with the, um, the the hardware that already exists, so they don't have to change the whole infrastructure. By, uh, to, by using Ericity, we can, as I said, upgrade the old existing cameras to smart cameras. Uh, and then, but that way they can generate more revenue on the existing infrastructure. At the same time, of course, we can help them win a new contenders, new customers, but um, right, since they can uh, now uh, deliver a much better product uh, and, uh, and new functions, which we have an advantage towards their competitors. 
and also that we can enhance the SOC performance. Uh, by SOC, we mean the Security Operations Center. And as I mentioned, that we can uh, reduce the false alarm and help them uh, focus uh, on the, um, the true alarm and to act in real time. I will uh, describe this part a little bit later in the presentation. Next slide. <clears throat> As I said, we've become the, uh, the security company's AI partner in this uh, digital transformation. Uh, if you look into all the global security companies, their homepage, uh, annual reports, uh, presentation, they all talk about the, this uh, digital transformation and this is the future. Uh, but for several reasons, this uh, transformation is going slow and we, we believe that uh, Aricity is a key player in this uh, digital transformation to help the, the security companies with this. And we can help them to, uh, to, get, uh, to use their, uh, all the data they have. Uh, imagine all the thousands of hours of uh, surveillance uh, films, that they, video that they have. And by uh, uh, using that uh, relevant data, we can, um, uh, through, uh, yeah, through deep learning, we can uh, take the advantage of the potential that the data have. Uh, we can also help them create uh, new algorithms, uh, which uh, can help the evolving the business and the business need. And uh, the new algorithms we create uh, together with our partners, but also, of course, what uh, we see the need at, uh, for the end customer in the market. And as I said, uh, we can be the key player here in this uh, digitalization and help the secure, uh, large global security companies uh, uh, become leaders in the, within the intelligent security service. Next slide. Uh, so why do we believe this? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, to look a little bit into the different segments that we work within, uh, as I mentioned, we have the security companies. Uh, we also work with the camera manufacturers and also with the enterprise customers. Uh, if you start with the security companies, as I mentioned, we have a partnership relationship here and a business model, which is a SaaS business model which means we, get, uh, we license out our algorithms per camera per month. And uh, one surveillance camera can have uh, several algorithms installed, which means we can get several revenue streams from one camera. It's a huge market, and the status here is that uh, this summer we signed a partnership agreement with the world's largest security company, G4S, and are uh, together with them now uh, focusing on a rollout within some markets. Uh, when I look at the, the camera manufacturers, we also here work with a partnership uh, model and also license out our uh, algorithms. Uh, also a very big market and uh, also the status here is that we have ongoing dialogues with several camera manufacturers. And the enterprise customers, there we work with uh, direct sales, also with the uh, SaaS model where we license out our uh, algorithms. Uh, and uh, an example of this is SL, uh, Stockholm's uh, Lens Traffic, where we uh, won the procurement with them uh, last week, uh, where we will be uh, where we adding one of our algorithms, a rail defender, to the subway stations in Stockholm. Next slide, please. Uh, if you look into those uh, different segments here, why we believe it is a really good match with uh, Aricity. If you start with the security companies, uh, we can see that uh, they are, like I mentioned, very manpower and hardware uh, HV de dependent. They have a very low margins and uh, also a very competitive market. And their strategy is to digitalize the, and automate them by that way. They can improve uh, their competitiveness and also create uh, better margins. And we see a very good match here with uh, Aricity and our uh, analytics that we can uh, uh, help them uh, uh, with this strategy to help them uh, transform into more uh, digital uh, companies. Also with the camera manufacturers, uh, we see that the hardware is, uh, futures are getting less and less important. Uh, more and more important is what's within the camera, what uh, type of analytics uh, software they can deliver. And that's also their strategy is to integrate uh, analytics uh, into their cameras and by that way they can deliver new capabilities uh, with the cameras to their customers. Here also we see a really good uh, match with Aricity to um, integrate our analytics, our algorithms into the cameras. 
and also with the enterprise customers, where we also see the, that the, the, it's a demand for a, a strategy change there to focus more on the real-time event and all the, on the real, uh, real uh, alarms also, the true alarms. And also here we see a very good uh, match with Iricity that uh, we can upgrade already existing infrastructure and leverage on the capex they already taken. Next slide. Thank you. Uh, we work within a lot of different industries. We see the need for uh, our um, our product within a lot of different industries. Uh, next slide. And we have uh, created uh, several types of different uh, customer-focused algorithms, which are uh, uh, yeah, created to solve specific situations, specific challenges. Uh, I will go a little bit more into uh, at least two of those uh, algorithms uh, a little bit later in the presentation, the Rail Defender and our violent behavior. Next slide. Um, but before I do that, I would like to give, show you a little bit uh, how uh, our uh, iris uh, works and how uh, which is some of the advantages with it. Uh, in this uh, slide here in the picture, you can see a large, uh, large uh, area which uh, needs to be uh, surveilled. Next slide. Uh, and as you see here, it's a large area where you need to, and uh, historically and also a lot now, it's of course a lot of uh, patrolling guards and also a lot of the cameras uh, which are installed in different places to be able to secure the whole area. Next slide. But by using Iricity in this example here, it's enough with one camera if you have uh, integrated our software. We can uh, secure the whole area. As the, in this picture you can see here, we have detected something uh, far behind in the picture here in the area. The, the you can see that we can, uh, yeah, with a large distance we can pick up and also with uh, just a few pixels, so we can be able to see the difference between an intruder or something else like uh, a dog walking in the area or something like that. Next slide. Here are also two other uh, real life examples here, both from a thermal camera on a construction site. As you can see that uh, with uh, our software, we can pick up the intruder. And also with the industri industrial site to the right here, you can also see uh, in front of the building in the background there, we have uh, picked up uh, movement, which are from, uh, in this case, also humans, intruders in the area. Next slide. Uh, as I mentioned, we work with a SaaS business model, which we license out our, um, our um, software, our algorithms uh, to different customers. Uh, and of course, we have a lot of different uh, functionalities and functions that we can deliver with our algorithm with our software and also with capabilities like I mentioned with the long detection, the long distance detection, also any type of weather on a few pixels as uh, to mention some examples here. Next slide. And we also work within a lot of uh, some different uh, verticals uh, with our um, dedicated algorithms, uh, which are dedicated algorithms are algorithms which have been uh, developed to solve specific challenges or situations. And you can see uh, the different um, verticals here, some of them that we are work within. And uh, as you can see in this picture also, that uh, several of our algorithms can also be used within uh, several of the verticals. And as I mentioned earlier, we can add more um, algorithms to one camera and that way get more in uh, revenue streams from one camera also. But I would like to present a um, little bit more about uh, two of the algorithms we have here. So if we go to the next slide, I can start with the Rail Defender. And as the name says, it's an uh, algorithm which we have developed to solve specific challenges within train stations, subway stations, that kind of, kind of places uh, where we both can uh, see if anyone falls down on the tracks or if, for example, an abandoned object on the platforms. Uh, next slide. Uh, and of course, uh, as uh, you can imagine, uh, this type of uh, places is very uh, demanding to be able to uh, to pick up the right situations. There's a lot of movement, a lot of different lights, for example. Uh, of course, also to be able to pick up uh, objects uh, for on a very long distance. And also, if you, for example, look down to the right here with uh, 
where we have marked up the track, so of course, of course, an uh, alarm zone. But uh, at the same time, we are not, um, we should not alarm when a train comes in or when people are walking on and off the train. Since it's, even if they're walking into the alarm zone, they are, it's not uh, a real alarm. So I would like to show a video a little bit more uh, so you can see how this works. So if you go to the next slide, please. And uh, yeah, to click on the start next. Thank you. Yeah, press the play button here, please. There, and I think it was next. Yeah, perfect. As you can see here, in the, here when the direct when a person walks into the area here on the tracks here, we will send directly alarm so that we can act real time on that. Uh, but of course, we are not, uh, like I mentioned, not to, supposed to send alarm in this case when the trams come in here to the area and people are walking on and off. So then uh, uh, the alarm needs to be able to see the difference between uh, yeah, when a train or a tram in this case are on in the place or not. Uh, at the same time, we can also uh, choose which zones we want to send alarm on. If you're walking on the pedestrian path there, like you see the person, we will not alarm by directly when they walk into the on the tracks here, we will then directly send an alarm as an example. And of course, also if people are falling down yes, like this uh, on the tracks, we will also then act in real time and alarm the alarm central to be able to help directly. So here. Okay, so next slide. Uh, the next uh, algorithm I would like to present uh, briefly here also is our violent behavior. And as the name says, uh, we uh, have uh, developed this one to uh, see if it's any violent behavior, any abnormal behavior. Uh, and of course, this can be very interesting both in different public and also private areas. Uh, next slide. And here's also a film to show this. If you click next, probably we will search. Thank you. Here also in the film, you can see uh, how this algorithm works. In this case, it's a man walking out to his car towards an ATM machine. And you can see the algorithm is following his uh, different body parts and their movement. And as long as the movement is an, a totally normal movement, uh, nothing will happen. But as soon as it's an abnormal movement, a normal behavior, in this case, a violent behavior, we will directly alarm and uh, send alarm uh, directly so we can act on uh, as a true event here. Here's also another example of uh, a video of this. Uh, as you can see directly when it's uh, uh, abnormal behavior here, we will directly send an alarm to the alarm central. Next slide, please. I would also, like I mentioned, give a little bit more uh, into the SOC the Security Operations Center, the alarm central, and uh, how we can help uh, uh, enhance uh, efficiency and also precision here. Uh, as you can imagine, one uh, operation center could have several thousands of objects, several thousands of cameras uh, that they are surveilling, and they are getting uh, uh, thousands of hours of uh, video streams coming in that they have to uh, look through both in real time, but also, for, of course, like sensor cameras, which uh, send an alarm directly to the movement. Uh, but by adding uh, iricity as a filter between the incoming video stream and then the alarm central here, we can filter away everything that's not uh, interesting for the alarm central to look at. Uh, and by doing this, we can reduce the alarm volume by as much as more than 90%. And of course, this can both be much more efficient with the resources, save a lot of cost, but also help the alarm central to focus on the true alarms. And by doing that, they can also act in real time and uh, deliver a much better uh, product uh, service to the end customer. Next slide. Also mentioned that I want to give a little bit more in detail uh, update about the G4S and our uh, a partnership uh, collaboration there. 
Uh, from the beginning, we did an, uh, an pilot, an initial uh, rollout within the Baltics, two countries there, and then a full rollout. This summer, we signed a partnership agreement with G4S, and together with them, we have uh, chosen five new countries within Europe that we will uh, start also with a rollout, within, both within different verticals, but also within the SOC optimization. And the plan after that is, uh, of course, to, um, when a full rollout there is to expand within uh, Europe uh, and the Middle East and Africa. And, of course, uh, in the next phase to expand uh, globally together with G4S within all the geographic markets where they are uh, active in. And next, phase, next, please. Uh, also a little bit about uh, financials and uh, where we are standing uh, shortly here. Um, this uh, In November, some weeks ago, we closed uh, 50 million Swedish kroner financing round and we did this with, with, together with uh, three new investors, uh, Taiwan investors, uh, fund investors in Sweden. And we did this uh, to boost uh, our sales and of course uh, the rollout within those three segments I've uh, talked about today. And of course to also to uh, increase the speed by the developing new algorithms. Uh, next slide. As you can see here, a little bit more in detail, that we will uh, add additional resources within G4S to be able to boost the role out there. Also uh, work to sign more deals, international deals with other uh, global security companies. Also speed up, speed up the partnership with uh, the, uh, the camera manufacturers. Also expand the enterprise sales and, uh, as I mentioned, also boost our R&D uh, team so we can increase the development of the new algorithms, which we see the need for in the market. Uh, next. This was everything for me, the presentation here. So, of course, uh, if anyone wants to get in contact, please feel free to use my contact information you can see on the screen here. Thank you. Um, thank you for that presentation, Andreas. Uh, I think we have just a couple of minutes left uh, for for a QA, a smaller and shorter QA session. Um, perhaps, perhaps you could initially comment a little bit behind your rationale uh, in terms of expanding into new geographical areas. Why, why, why are you doing so? Yeah, I mean, you're a fairly small company. What, what is the rationale? Are the current markets getting mature by any means, or what's behind that? Uh, yes, as I mentioned uh, in the presentation here, we see this uh, digital transformation is uh, now ongoing within the security industry. And we also see that we are, have a, can have a crucial part in this uh, transformation here. And uh, this is, uh, we see this is uh, not only a Swedish, Nordic or European uh, trans um, uh, way to, by doing this. I think uh, this is... Uh, Globally, I think all security companies around the world wishes to do this transformation. So this is why we are focusing on this, and we are also doing this uh, together with the security companies. So we are, uh, yeah, partner partnering up with them and helping them with this um, digitalization. Okay, uh, perfect. Thanks. Uh, and perhaps a smaller comment regarding your um, your partnership with G4S. Is that an exclusive partnership? Uh, what is the potential uh, of, of this partnership? Uh, what is the current status? Uh, and I know you touched upon the area, but just to summarize it a little bit. Yeah, uh, good question. Uh, it's not uh, exclusive. So we are free to, uh, to, uh, to sign partnerships with... Uh, other global security companies as well. And the current situation there is, as I mentioned, that we are now uh, moving into the next phase here where we are doing a uh, rollout within uh, more countries, uh, firstly here within the, the EU, or Europe, and then, of course, within the EMEA, and then, uh, then a global approach here. So together with them, we are now, now uh, uh, approaching an, an international rollout. Thank you. As a final question, uh, and I know it's not the most fun topic to, to touch upon, but how has COVID-19 affected your operations? Uh, of course, we also affected like everyone else, uh, but uh, we also been able to sign, as an example, the partnership agreement with G4S uh, uh, this year. So we are, we are moving ahead even with the COVID, but of course things uh, are going a little bit slower than we of course, maybe was participated and uh, hoping for. Uh, so 
I would say in that way we are uh, effective as well. That it's uh, going a little bit slower than uh, what it probably would have been done without the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Thank you, Andreas, for, for this presentation and uh, also attending to the um, Q&A session afterwards. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Simon.